Hello and welcome to another video tutorial with Kintech Coding Clinic. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through step by step how we can format our PC and then install new version of Windows. Probably it can be Windows 7, 8, 10, or 11. And it's going to be very simple, straightforward, and fun as usual. If you are the type who always give your PC out for people to do that for you, to, for them to get paid, then you would have to learn this all by yourself and then you'll be able to do it without any problems, without any stress. I'll first of all show you how you can create your own USB bootable stick. And then um, I'll provide you with a link to all the files that you need to get things up and running. And finally, I'll teach you how to format your PC within this easy steps so to so start with these are the things we need so the first thing is we need the windows iso file this can be windows 7 8 10 or 11 probably any of them that you would want to install in this case we'll be using windows 10 and then you also need usb stick that is a pen drive or flash drive eight gigabytes or even more that is at least it should be eight gigabytes and you also need the rufus software for making the usb stick bootable so once you have all this prerequisite, it means you're good to go. Now the next thing is a step. So the first step, we're going to go ahead and create our bootable USB stick using Rufus software. Then from there we proceed and then format our PC. It's going to be very simple. So to start with, like I said, I'll give you a link. I'll share the links in the video description where you can download all the, 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 the software you need. That is a Windows ISO file as well as the, the, the Rufus software. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, if you are just coming across this channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. You press the bell icon so that you get notified anytime we upload video tutorials like this. Now, let's quickly delve right into the first thing. So now we have this and we also have this and we have this available. So let's quickly create our USB bootable stick. So I have my USB bootable stick, my USB stick here. I'm going to stick that in. Perfect. You just heard the sound of it. So I'm going to go ahead and then and make it bootable using Rufus software. So I'm going to minimize this. And so this is a Rufus software here. I'll just double click it and then I have it launched. So once it is launched, what I'm going to see is you can see you see your device. That is a USB stick. You can see it here. Mine is 32 gigabytes. So you see it here. If it is not well connected, it wouldn't appear here. So once it appears here, meaning it is connected. So the next thing is to click on this select and choose your Windows ISO file. So I already have this, so this is it. So probably wherever yours is located, you would have to navigate, browse, and then grab it. So let me show you. Mine is inside the folder called in the E drive, and then in the folder called software. So I open this, and then inside the software, I'll just check, and then this is it. So I'll just select it, and then I'll click on open. So once this is open, I have some few steps here to also follow. Probably I would want to choose a partition scheme to MBR so that it can work for both BIOS and then the uefi okay so that is that so once i do these changes then the next thing i'm just going to do is just to click on this start and then i'll receive this warning yes because i would want to erase everything inside so i'll just go ahead and click on okay so immediately you click on okay you should have things up and running so it will delete all the files on your on your usb stick and then make it bootable for you so now this will take some time to complete so um once it gets started then i'll skip this part of it and then we come back once our bootable usb stick is ready see you then all right so now as you can see our usb stick is now ready and it's bootable we can then use it to format and install new windows for our pc so the next thing we're going to do is to click on close so once we are done with that you would have to then come to um this notification area you click on usb stick then you eject it the safe way so once you are done with that we are ready to go to our pc and start with the formatting and installation process i can just pull my usb stick out it's now ready so now let's quickly switch to our next pc and start with the formatting and installation process don't forget to subscribe to the channel you press the bell icon so i get notified anytime we upload new videos like this thank you so here we are right in front of the PC which we are going to be formatting. So as you can see, this is just a desktop Dell computer. So let me just refresh my desktop. So what we're going to do is to stick in our USB stick inside the USB port. So let me just do that right away. So that is done. Let's see if we can receive some prompts. Then we take it from there. So as you can see, this is the prompt. So what I'm going to do is to close this now. 
So I can just go to this PC from here. So I'll just have this PC. Then I'll have this pop up. Then I'll just open that and you can see the files inside. So I'm gonna close this. So what I'm gonna do is to click on start, go to the power and click on restart. So the computer has to restart. So once the screen goes back, what you're gonna do is to press one of the function keys. In this case, I'm gonna use 12, F12 key here. So you can try F10 key, F8 key, F2 key on your keyboard. And then you should be able to get a key that boots to BIOS on your PC. Okay, so basically that is that. So as you can see, there we go. So on this screen, your screen might be different from mine. But what you're going to look at from here is to locate your USB storage device. Because that is where we are going to be booting from. In this case, as you can see, mine is the USB storage device. So what I'm going to do is to use the tester control keys on the keyboard. We call them arrow keys to choose my USB stick. In this case, I'll just press the down arrow once, down, then from there, you can see it's selected, then I'll just press enter on the keyboard. So there we go. So here, I'll press any key on the, on the keyboard to just boot from the USB stick. So let's watch and see what's gonna happen. So once you receive the prompt asking you to boot, to press any key to boot from the USB, you just do that immediately without hesitation. You should be smart enough to do that before it boots. So it boots through the, your hard drive, which is not what you want to see. All right, so we're going to wait and see what's going to happen here. All right, so here we go. So what we're going to do right now is, as you can see, the language will be stored by default is English, and then time in currency format, English, United States, and then keyboard or input method, US. So we allow this to default and go to next. So here you want to click on install now. Perfect. So as you can see, we need to activate our Windows. I'll be showing you how to activate your Windows in the next video. So what I'm going to do right now is to click on I don't have a product key. Then click on that. So what you're going to do is to choose your operating system here. In this case, I'm going to go for Windows 10 Pro. Okay, so I'm just going to click on next. So on this, I would have to read and accept the terms and conditions. I accept and then click on next. So here, I will have to go for custom install windows only. I just choose this and then here we go. So what I'm going to do right away is to go ahead and format this partition. I can choose to delete this partition here. I can delete it. Just click on this and then delete this partition. If it is not deleted, I'm going to click on this one and even delete it. I'll delete this partition as well, delete it. And then this, I'll select this one now. What I'm going to do is to select even this one too and delete all the partitions on there. Okay. PC. So from here, I can go ahead and, and then install my Windows on this particular drive now. Now the drive is now clean and set. So what I'm going to do is to click on next. So you can see the formatting process has just started. So this takes some time to complete. So what we're going to do is to be skipping this part of the video. So we'll get to the next section or the next interface on the screen. All right, so as you can see on this screen, now the Windows needs to restart to continue. So you, you allow everything to continue by itself. So hold on, just sit back and watch everything. Now Windows is restarting. Starting services. So here we allow the computer to keep booting. You just have to sit down and watch. You don't do anything. Allow the PC to do all the necessary settings. So just a moment. Perfect. So on this screen, what we're going to do is to go ahead and start with the region. So is this right? So you go ahead and click on yes. So you wait. And then here, is this the right keyboard layout? Just click on yes, US. If you wish to change, you can go ahead and change that. You can add another layout, but we'll just skip this one. So you watch. So let's get connected to the internet. So you say I don't have internet, but in case you have, you can choose to get connected. So here, we would want to allow the default settings. Then we go to continue with limited setup. Click on that. So here, you can give your PC a name. So in this case, this is my school PC. So I'm going to give it the name of my school. So I'm going to say H-B-A-A. That is B-U. 
Then this is a PC number 19. So that is PC number one, so it's 001. Perfect. So I'll give you this name. And I'll proceed and click on next. So you can give it the name of your choice. If you want to set password, you go ahead and set password here and confirm on the next screen. This is a student PC. We are not going to log them up. So we click on next to skip this. So you just watch for the rest of the action. So here, choose private privacy settings for your device. So we click on accept. Wish to learn more, you can do that. Do more across devices with, with activity history. Yes, you just go ahead and click on yes. And then let Cortana help you to get things done. Not now. We would want to um, do that ourselves. So we're going to do that. So you allow everything to complete all by itself. Hi. So in this case, you are almost there. We are getting everything ready for you. So this is just the final stage. So you allow your PC to boot straight to desktop without any hesitation. Then you say hooray. You are finally formatted and install new windows for your PC. So this is just for Windows 10 and you can easily do that using any of the Windows ISO file. For Windows 11, for Windows 7, Windows 8, you can choose to do that all by yourself. If this video is helpful to you, please don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel, then you get notified anytime we upload our new video tutorial. So let's wait and watch for our PC to boot straight to desktop. Then we say goodbye for this tutorial. Perfectly executed. So now we are done. As you can see that prompt searching for display drivers. Now you can see that with that sound, the volume icon, you can see it is canceled with red. It's not it's not an issue of drivers at all. These PCs don't have inbuilt speakers. Okay, so these are just desktop PCs for kids, for our students in the school. So what they use is external speakers and then headphones. So that is that. So this brings us to the end of this amazing video tutorial. So with this, you should be able to format and install new windows for your PC, being it laptop or desktop without any problems, without any stress. So as you can see, everything is now complete. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You press the bell icon so I get notified anytime we upload new video tutorials. As you can see, this is a drive, okay? So in our next video, I'm gonna show you how you can activate your windows. In this version of windows, it's not actually activated. I'm going to show you how it is done without any problem, without any stress. And then I'm also going to show you how you can partition your drive in the next video. So see you until then. Don't forget to smash the like button. Also give me a, leave a comment in the comment section below if you like this video. Thank you so much and see you in the upcoming videos. Bye bye.